The Untouchable True School Sports Empire proudly presents something the boxing game's been missing. Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BT, and I came here to talk some boxing with the thousands of True School Sports subscribers. Now, I wanted to talk about, you know, Xander Zayas, because I haven't talked about Xander in quite some time, you know, probably about seven or eight months. So um, I wanted to talk about the development of his career and just show one of South Florida's very own some love, because he, he really is a talented fighter, and I think he's going places and, and he's going places fast now um on the oscar valdez robinson consensual undercard I, Xander zayas fought jose luis sanchez you know and sanchez is a fighter that i'm familiar with because he, in his last fight sanchez fought adrian granados at welterweight and he had a draw with granados very tough fight with granados you know both it was back and forth nip and tuck fight and um you know he got a draw so i'm, I, I, I'm familiar i'm familiar with him tough fighter uh comes to win you know, definitely not like the kind of fighter that, um, you know, you could sleep on for Xander Zayas. This guy is an experienced fighter. Yes, his last fight against Granados at Wel was at welterweight. But if you look at the majority of his fights in his career, most of his fights have been at 154. In fact, he turned pro at 154. So this guy's a 54-pounder. And this was this was Dan Zayas' pro debut against an experienced, uh, solid, professional 154-pounder. A guy that wasn't has never been stopped in his career. And a, a, and a stoppage victory in a six-round fight against a fighter like this would have been a massive statement for Xander Zayas. Now, he didn't get the stoppage, but he damn sure laid some heavy leather on Jose Luis Sanchez. And, you know, we, we just saw what I saw watching Xander was an excellent blend of, of, of speed, fundamentals, precision, and um, some, some power. You know, he's only, he's only 19 years old, so the body's filling out. He's getting longer. He's getting, you know, more mature. Uh, Xander Zayas is no longer the little kid that I used to see running around at the, at the, at the Davy Powell. He's now growing into a full-fledged man. And he's fight by fight. You're starting to see that grown man strength come in. And, you know, when I watch Xander Zayas and I watch his style and I watch the way he fights, I'm starting to get like these, these Felix Trinidad vibes from him. I know he's not knocking these guys. I like Trinidad, but he's, he's still very young. And I think that will come in time. Uh, I'm starting to get these Trinidad vibes from, from the way he puts his punches together to the way he throws left hooks to the way he counters with left hooks. It's starting to feel very Tito Trinidad-esque. And, you know, when we talk about the young fighters in boxing, the young fighters in the top rank stable, when we talk about the young Puerto Rican fighters in boxing, I know a lot of people are focused on Edgar Belanga, and, and, and they should be because Edgar Belanga is a, a really interesting prospect and he's fun to watch and he and he knocks people out and he has all the charisma and everything you look for in a superstar in boxing. But if we're talking about who has the highest ceiling, who's truly the most talented Puerto Rican fighter out there, I, I think it's this kid Xander. I mean, Xander, Xander Zayas has shown great skills since the amateurs. Uh, since, you know, when he was the youngest fighter to ever sign a professional contract with top rank boxing, which is no small accomplishment. It kind of kind of gives you an idea of how talented he was or how talented he is. Um, you know, you hear all the stories. I, I, I hear stories all the time about Xander, what he's doing in sparring. And, you know, you've, I've heard Sean Porter talk about him on his podcast about just how talented Xander Zayas was when he sparred him. And you're starting to see it on a fight by fight basis. You're starting to see how Xander Zayas has those professional traits of boxing. He's always sticking on his next move. He's always thinking a, a, a move or a step or two ahead of his opponent. Um, you're seeing him land good counter punches, whether it be with the, with the left hook, uh, overhand right. You know, you're seeing him lead with a good jab. You know, Xander Zayas is someone to, to look out for in the future. And, you know, in this, this was his debut at 154, so 154, there is a new sheriff in town, and his name is Xander Zayas. And look, man, I'm not trying to put more pressure on this kid than there already is. You know, there's a lot of expectations for him, and I have high expectations for him. But um, Xander Zayas is a fighter that, that, that I truthfully think, man, I truthfully think by the time he's 21, he's, he just turned 19. So I'm thinking by late, late next year, early 2023, the way he's progressing, the guy, the way he's showing himself to improve fight by fight, I think I think he will seriously be ready for a world title shot in, you know, another eighteen months. You know, because he's he's developing so well, and I, you know, he's nineteen years old, but he doesn't have the boxing IQ of a nineteen year old. He don't have the poise of a nineteen year old. He's boxing like somebody that's twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight, be a much more mature beyond his years. So, you know, I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. And um, you know, he 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 fought a guy in Sanchez who who's a good fighter. You know, Sanchez did. Give Adrian Granados all he can handle. Hurt Adrian Granados. 
Sanchez never been stopped. Um, Xander didn't stop him, but like I said, he beat him up badly. The guy was bleeding profusely from his nose. Um, he got a knockdown that the referee didn't call. So it was it was it either even though it wasn't a, a, a stoppage victory, it was still a dominant six round performance from Xander Zayas, and it's the kind of form, performance that makes you think, you know, could Xander Zayas be? the next great Puerto Rican fighter in the lineage of, you know, your Wilfred Benitez's and your Fredo Gomez's and your Miguel Cotto's and, and, and guys like that, you know, Hector Camacho's, guys like that. You know, the fighters that, you know, when people talk about boxing, when they think about Puerto Rican boxing, they think of these names. And a lot of people have had these high expectations of Xander for so long. And for me, from what I'm seeing, he's beginning to develop the kind of talent that makes me think, you know what, the kind of skills and the kind of traits, the kind of in-ring traits that makes me think, you know what, this kid has the, the goods to go all the way and become world champion and to be um, not just a world champion, but a, but a world champion that's an attraction that people care about, that people are going to want to uh, spend their hard-earned money to come see. You know, it's one thing to be a champion because a lot, anybody, a lot of fighters can be world champion, but to be a world champion that people truly care about and they want to spend their money on, that's the kind of fighter I think Xander's eyes is becoming, you know, with the way he just um, evolves fight by fight, you know, um, Obviously, there's still some things Xander has to work on. You know, I, I think defensively and after he throws punches, there's still some lapses he does have. And I think a better fighter, a higher caliber fighter than Sanchez can take advantage of those and exploit those. But um, that doesn't take away from the fact that he is improving, that he does have a great skill set and that he is going towards, he's, he's heading straight towards the world title quickly and swiftly. So I'm looking forward to seeing just how his career develops. And I'm, 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 I'm going to be talking about him more here on True School Sports as uh, we get closer to him fighting for that world title. So let me know what you guys think. What, what, what did you guys think of Xander Zayas' um, performance against Jose Luis Sanchez? I, I thought he performed exceptional, exceptionally brilliant against uh, Sanchez. I'm looking forward to seeing when Xander Zayas is out there again in the boxing ring. So let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Make sure you take time to subscribe. And like I say in every single one of these videos, you can love me or you can hate me, but I'm just kidding. So until next time, take your eyes.